Hey, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions. Today we're going to learn how to make a, kind of a more complex design using the shapes that you have right here in your library. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to make a little uh, lamp post. So I first I pulled a just a rectangle, <coughs> excuse me, a rectangle, and I drew drew it out and <coughs> excuse me, made it longer and thinner. So then I came over here and I centered it to the page. So now we want to put something on the bottom, and that is going to be this item. Looks kind of like a, a dog tag that we have here in the states. So let's bump that out a little bit. Okay, and to make sure that's even, click on it and click that one, and that will even it right up, so you don't have to stare at it for. 10 minutes trying to figure it out. Path union, that'll make it all one. Okay. Now we need to figure out what we're going to use for our lamps. And this would be it. We're going to use this little thing for our lights. Object, duplicate. No, three of them. And yes, you can click it three times and rotate them three times, but this is <laughs> the easy way, the lazy way. Okay, so let's bring that there. Let's bring this. Oh, right there's the lines lining up. And then we'll take this one. Oh, we'll do it up like that and then see if they're kind of even. Yeah, that looks good. This one, though, I'm going to take back here. And I'm going to union to get rid of the lines. Okay, so now we want to, we, we need a, a roof on the little lamps there. I like this one because it's a little bit fancier. Okay, I'm going to bring it down here to this line. Let's see, get it about how you want it. Bring it to this line because we're going to use this knife right here to cut it. Take it a little bit wider than the actual shape. Put it down, push and hold that left button as you draw it across, and then find a good spot and release it. Come up here and get your selection tool, highlight it, and that separates it. Okay, we don't need this one, so you can go ahead and delete that. This one is the one we're going to use. We're going to grab the pen. I'm going to put right there. Hold that and draw it across. Draw about right there. Okay, and then the escape button, and there is your top part of your little lights. Okay, you make them bigger, smaller, whatever you want. Look like little wizard's caps. Okay. Oops. And two, I mean, if you wanted to, you could wait and group, you know, one. Let me show you what I'm talking about. You could wait and do this. Group the whole thing and then duplicate it that way um, if you wanted to. Okay, but first we have to get three little hats. Okay, and then start putting them on. And you don't really want those lines, the the lines between the light and then the or the globe, I should say the globe and then the cap. You don't really want them overlapping. You kind of want them touching because when you go into union this, if they're overlapping, that line will disappear and it just won't look right. I'm going to come up here and lower that one a little bit. Okay, let's try to lower that one a little bit too. That looks better. Okay, come in here. Path, and we'll try union and see what we get. Okay. 
So now we want to come down here to our swirls and get this one out of the way a little bit. Let's blow it up. We'll flip it. We'll flip it to about right there. Okay, so let's see. Let's bring it maybe a little bit that way. Okay, and now you want to duplicate that one because you want it the exact same size. So put two, pull that one over. Okay, and now with this one you want to flip it. And you actually want to mirror this one because it'll be the exact same on the other side. Okay. That looks good. Now we're going to highlight all of it. We'll do Path in Union. And there you go. That is how you make your street lamp. Thanks guys. Any more questions? Um, other videos that you want to see? Just